Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. Uh, I'm Hussein Berry, and these are my partners, Sean Acosta and Danielle Sheridan. And this is our project, Automating Data Breach Analysis and Advice for Financial Institutions. Now, let's get started. <clears throat> so imagine for a second that you work at a bank, and one day you discover that two employee email addresses were being automatically blind copied to two external email addresses. These emails contain personal information, such as names and social security numbers. <clears throat> According to the Privacy Rights Clearinghouse, since 2010, there have been over 3 million breaches in the financial industry. Generally, an institution must notify when there's unauthorized access to or acquisition of data that has been or reasonably will be misused. Noti notification is required to protect consumer information and retain consumer trust. When a breach occurs, an institution must <laughs> notify its affected customers, consumer reporting agencies, the attorney general, and state regulators. Upon discovering a possible data breach, the business must begin immediate mitigation and incident analysis. The average cost for lost or stolen records containing sensitive conf uh, confidential information can cost up to $141. Now, our challenge was to create a solution specifically for financial institutions facing federal data breach notification requirements and compliance, which would eventually be integrated into the existing Ackerman tool that also includes the HIPAA and general state uh, breach notifications. In hopes of better understanding response programs, we researched how businesses currently process potential breaches, such as intercepted emails. We found out that the process was unstandardized and notification obligations were often answered by outside counsel. The preferred state is our end goal, and that was to have an app that cuts down the number of steps in the process of determining whether to notify. We wanted it to be simple and interactive. This means that the app can be used by in-house attorneys, IT, and compliance. Our team was partnered with Jeff Scher and the Ackerman Data Law Center. The Ackerman Data Law Center is a subscription-based product that supports data law risk and compliance <coughs> for large entities, and they've already built several tools like ours. Now, to get the ball rolling, we conducted background research to all relevant federal banking laws. We cast a wide net covering everything from Frank Dodd to the Bank Secrecy Act. As I'm sure you can imagine, we quickly realized that our scope was a little bit too wide. So we met up with Jeff again. He was able to help us narrow our scope to the Graham-Leach-Bliley Act. The reason we did this is that it is the primary regulation concerning data breach notification on the federal level. Now, the Graham-Leach-Bliley Act gives authority to three agencies, the FRB, the OCC, and the FDIC. Together, these agencies establish the interagency guidance on response programs for unauthorized access. <clears throat> with that in mind, we had to pick a platform. We ended up going uh, with Neota Logic for three main reasons. One, we had practice using it in class, building tools. Also, the Ackerman app currently su supports it. And Jeff is also really well versed in the platform. So. When we started mapping out our uh, first question flow, we were not really sure what the map would end with. Where were we going? So we crafted a 50-state survey, and ultimately it told us which states deferred to the GLBA and which didn't. From that point, we were able to expand that question flow to a second iteration, and we added additions that helped us add value to the tool to learn when uh, certain questions could get a user out as quick and efficient as possible. From there, we reached the third iteration, further expanding the tool and uh, refining the final question flow for our application. At this point, we were ready to build. So we were fortunate at the beginning of building to get to look at the current Ackerman data tool. Uh, Jeff gave us access to three versions, which we could play around with, and from this, we um, were able to get an opportunity to, what our tool, to see what our tool would be integrated into. So we experimented with building a standalone app and also integrating into the, Ackerman, the current Ackerman tool. Our final version of the app was a standalone branch of Logic that uh, used decision trees and used question flows to get to the end of the app. Uh, so welcome to the Ackerman uh, Financial Institution Data Breach Notification Advisor. Uh, the user will first be asked a series of questions to determine whether they are a financial institution according to the act. Next, the user will go through a series of questions to uh, define whether 
the information that was breached uh, falls within the regulations that require them to notify. This app gives, will walk you through a maximum of 13 questions that give definitional hints and it can take as little as 10 minutes. By utilizing our app, the user will be told whether they need to notify, whether they do not, or whether they should seek more assistance from the state notification tool. Uh, additionally, uh, the, we also have an option for if you have uh, more strict rules. So, uh, compliance is a nightmare for uh, institutions. The major value for our tool is standardizing internal processes currently not done all the same way. Um, we also derived personal value from this project. We learned that um, there's not that <laughs> we learned that there's more than one way to do things, and at the beginning of our app, there isn't a right answer. Uh, by proactively using uh, technology and automating tools, the uh, firms like the a like Ackerman are giving access to new clients. Um, we want to say thank you to the firms who let us uh, create, a new uh, create a new process, learn the innovation process, and use new technology. Thank you. Thank you.